Hi everyone, my name is John Capobianco and I'm going to show you some ideas on how to get started with Python. Now this is Windows and there's going to see some tools and you need to install VS Code and Python, python.org, download it and install it, and then the rest we're going to just do together. Now, I'm going to be using what's known as a virtual environment and I'm going to just activate a virtual environment and then from there, we're going to be able to do different things with Python. Now, I'm using Wikipedia and a package that I had to pip install. It's pip install Wikipedia. So Wikipedia has a great API system, and it's a pip package that we install. I would almost consider it an SDK, software development kit, for Wikipedia. So I'm going to do some things I'm going to show you because there's some interest in what I've been up to. And I think it's a wonderful, wonderful place for people to start with Python. Now, <clears throat> okay, so what I'm doing is making mind maps and I'm not going to get into the creation of the file systems or anything, but I'll give you an outline of what I'm doing here. I have a series of arrays set up here. And what I'm doing is adding the title of the Wikipedia page to the appropriate OSI layer or to general pages. Now, what I found is that sometimes the page title can be ambiguous or not registered with the API. So I, I've learned instead of just accepting and pasting in what I would copy from here, into my array that I'm going to test it first. And this is a good opportunity for me to show you how we can use Python at the CLI. Yes, Python has a command line interface. So this is a .py file, what you're looking at here, but I use the CLI in concert with the file to test as I go. So I'm already in my virtual environment and what I'm going to do is move into the Python. Let me turn on my magnifier here. So this is a little clearer for you. So I'm going to type Python 3 and it's going to take me into the CLI. So let's import Wikipedia and then let's sort of do, let's just check if 10 base 2 is really the page. So we can do a couple things here. Let's search for it first. Yes, we can search just like we search in our browser by saying Wikipedia dot search and then the phrase we want to search for. Now there's the results. Now let's do something a little more Pythonic. So let's write a for loop and say for result in Wikipedia dot search and our search string. Sorry about the dog. And what are we going to do for each of those results? One, two, three, four. Let's just print result because that's all we're trying to achieve right now. And there are the pages. So those are the searches. Now let's confirm that we can get an actual page. I'm sorry about the dog. Okay, so Wikipedia dot page and our string and this will confirm okay 10 base 2 even though it's here see this is why I don't just paste it in here it doesn't seem to like that page and let me try it again and make sure and see it's not working <laughs> try another ID and I'm not sure where to get that other ID from right this is all I have is 10 base 2 here so I have the Ethernet page and I'm already capturing Ethernet though am I not maybe not I have Ethernet over twisted pair and 10 base 2 didn't work um, unfortunately the first page I tried to show you didn't work so let's um, Let's go to Ethernet and just test Ethernet now. All right, so instead of 10 base 2, is there an Ethernet page? There is. 
So what does that page look like? Well, let's do dot summary. That's not bad, but it's sort of the raw summary. Let's, let's do something a little different. Let us make a variable called summary equals, and then it's Wikipedia dot page ethernet dot summary. And now let's print summary, right? And it prints a little better text. So that's pretty cool. So now let me add that to my array and let's go ahead and I'll show you what I'm doing here. So we know that Ethernet works. So if I go to layer one pages, what I have further down in the code is a for loop, right, for page in layer one pages. And we can do all of these things at the CLI, by the way if I can get to the bottom here, right? So we can say, whoops. Um, right, instead of summary, we have all of these other variables available to us, right? So we can just say title. We can say URL. We can say links. We've already looked at the content, right? And links might be a better as a for loop. Uh, we've seen the summary, right? And categories might be better as a for loop, same as references and images, right? So we can say for image in Wikipedia page ethernet dot images colon enter print image, right? And then there's all of our images. And we can click and there's the image. Pretty neat, right? So what am I doing with that data? Well, I'm registering a bunch of variables. Just to finish the thought here. As you've seen, we can register those variables. So I register all the different variables. And then just for an indication, I print the page so I can see that it's captured it OK. I then send all of those variables into a Jinja template using dot render and render lets you set up new variables to pass into Jinja all of these things on the left of the equals and they all equal these variables that we've set up above. Now in the Jinja it's not very complicated. Ignore the, the replace here but you can see I've done that same loop. Right, for image in images. And then I make a markdown version of that image. And I do the same for references. Now in markdown, if I put square brackets and then uh, rounded brackets around my variable, it will actually make it a clickable hyperlink. Now just to finish the thought, once I've passed that and rendered it, this becomes a new variable parsed output that holds the markdown that we've rendered that then I use a with open and save it to a file. Now these files then look like this in markdown, which I can render as natural markdown in a preview. And it looks just like the Wikipedia page. It really does. Or, and this is why I've done this, I can look at the mind map now, it's really big because links is a lot of links, but let's minimize that. And here are all of our references, and these links work. And let me go back to here. And we have the Wikipedia, but right, broken out into mind maps that we can easily click and collapse and follow and read. Pretty interesting stuff. I've had a lot of fun with this. So just to finish the thought, and let's go back to Twitch here, and main no video. Okay, so... Install Python, set up a virtual environment, which is a simple command, virtual env, the name of the virtual environment you want. That will create a folder. Then you just use the script activate to activate your virtual environment. Pip install the Wikipedia package, and then start playing at the CLI. Searches, contents, images, hyperlinks, for loops, create output files. 
I'm here to help if you have any questions, and I hope this is uh, maybe give you some ideas on how to start using Python and SDKs and REST APIs. Stay safe. Thank you.